this rail, we want to prove that similar triangles are proportional. This is a theorem. So we want to prove that this, okay, we know they are similar because this angle is equal to that. We're given that is that and that is that. What are we required to prove? Prove that xy over ac equals to xz over ad. Oh, this is quite simple. Let me tell you your aim before we start. Your aim is to place this triangle, superpose this triangle over this one. And then you use your proportionality theorem. It means we need to construct. And to construct, this is what we're going to do. We're going to mark off a point, uh, mark off a point here, and mark off a point here. We can call this um, P, and we can call that Q, such that XY is equal to AP. Oh, that's interesting. So let's see. Construction. Let's try to manage space. Six marks again. Construction. All right. Mac off, mac P and Q, okay, such that A, okay, mac off P and Q, um, join P, Q. But I think uh, such that, let's write this. Such that what? AP is equal to XY and AQ is equal to XZ in length. So I am just going to join that now. All right. So we are saying this should be equal to that. This should also be equal to that. Sweet. Already I have been able to bring that triangle over to that side. So that's the first thing. We have marked off our point. We have joined. But let's see. Now, if I look at this, check, I'm going to consider so that you remember. Consider the new triangle. Triangle A, P, Q, and triangle what? X, Y, Z. Remember, A, P is equal to X, Y by construction. A, P equals to X, Y by what? construction that's a side already angle a is equal to angle x we are given the blue one now the other side aq is equal to xz also by what construction now what have we proven oh we have proven that they are congruent side angle side therefore triangle a p q is congruent to triangle X, Y, Z. That's very important. The order, let me get a highlight up. The order is very, very important. We have proven that A, P, Q is congruent to X, Y, Z. That's very, very important. It therefore means, check what we've done. We have transposed this angle. This angle is now here, the white one. Oh, sweet. The yellow one, because we are saying these triangles are exactly, no, that's not yellow, are the same. Oh, sweet. So we can then now say that angle P is therefore equal to angle C, all right? Because we can see there. Oh, that's basically almost saying corresponding. Therefore, PQ will now be parallel to CD. That's your aim. Converse of corresponding. So we are now saying that this line and that line are parallel. And once you have that, we can then use our proportionality theorem. You don't need to prove proportionality. You have already proven that those lines are parallel. Now remember, we are proving X, Y, and AC, which is the top. Therefore, I can say AP over AC is equal to the top, again, on the right-hand side, AY over AD. What's your reason? Proportionality what? Theorem. And which line is parallel? You are saying that PQ is parallel to CD. By the way, do you remember that AP mm, is equal to XY by construction? And AY is equal to what? XZ also by construction. 
all right oh no i said a y somewhere it should be a q okay the triangles were too close a q let me just quickly get rid of that it's a q okay so a p over a c a q but i know my a p and my a q my a p and my a q oh it's x y and so we are done therefore what is my ap my ap is xy xy over ac is equal to what is my aq remember my aq is xz over what ad and we are done with the proof so this is the last proof in grade 12 which you need to know before you get into an exam enjoy the reels play them over and over again and you're good